which way to go? I love my fatherland. Oh, yeah. I want to know. I want to know. find it hard to start how long shall we be patient before we Hello there viewers and listeners. Good morning and welcome on to this week's edition of Insight on Impact Africa Television, IATV and Impact Business Radio, IBR 92.5 FM, your station of choice. On Insight, we take a historical excursion into the past. Look at where we were then, where we are today, and where we are supposed and where we believe we should be in the future. That is, we project into the future looking at where we were in the past and where we are supposed to be. Last week on this program, we looked at Nigeria in the period 1953 to 1959. The emergence of self-rule and the regions at that period. We looked at some parts of the constitutional development and how the regions, the north, the east, and the west, came into being. We also looked at the programs of these regions, particularly the western region, and the competition amongst the regions, which was a healthy one, and how the regions tried to fast track development in their various areas. We also looked at the giant strides taken by the premier of the western region, then the late chief of Bafemi, Awolowo who happened to be perhaps one of the best you can think of and who brought development into the Western region. Think of everything and you see that it was first in every, the Western region was first in all areas. The first region to introduce free primary education, free health services for children under 18, to establish the Fragrance Welfare Board. Even his government paid better wages than the federal government we talk of the Liberty Stadium, you talk of the first Olympic size stadium in Africa. You talk of so many things, this Western region was first in everything. You talk of marketing boards, the commodity boards, and whatever. That was the Western region in those days. And so, on the program this morning, we still want to look at what happened during that period and now look at where we are today. What actually went wrong? Why are we here? And this is our focus on insight today. And we want to bring it in such a way that the younger ones will understand what has been, what went wrong in the past. And even some of the older ones who perhaps do not know a bit of the history of that time will be further educated. On this program, we'll try and proffer solutions, but as we go, we are building. We are molding bricks and building. And so, let me bring in my colleague, Anolua Paul to join in the discussion. Thank you so much, Femi. We're looking at Nigeria. What was Nigeria like between 1950, something down to 1959? So, the 1950s, what are the special features of this nation? Regionalism was embraced at that time. The Western region achieved so many firsts at that time. Can we go back there? If we must go back there, what are the things we must do? We have joining us this morning two knowledgeable analysts. We have Barista Larry Aguro. A very good morning to you, Barista Aguro. Th thank you so much for joining us. Thank and we brother. have our guest last week is making a return, Mr. Abobuloko. Thank you so much, Mr. Abobuloko. Thank you. Th thank you. Uh, let's start with Mr. Uh, Aguro. If you look at Nigeria between this time or at this time what comes to your mind 1953 to 1959 nigeria <coughs> nigeria why you say nigeria i remember a book authored by um, professor chino achibe when he said that was a country that was once a country thought that was I never I used to tell people that was never a country. Mm. Was there a country? My belief then was and still is the fact that you look at where we're coming from. Nigeria was never a country in the recess of it. It was a business 
entity for the British. I remember when amalgamation was to be done, the Southern Protectorate had tax, uh, taxes in excess of one million pounds, where the Northern Protectorate had less than 63,000 pounds. Mm. And when you are doing a business, you want to match your business. That is why they, some people have problem with the word amalgamation and the word fusion. If you amalgamate, that means the two entities or the as many entities as you want to amalgamate must die and another one will emerge. But did we have that? See this fusion of a country that we had, we're thinking of a business entity where where you had surplus will be deployed to where you had deficit and that was what they call amalgamation. And that arose from it the Amalgamation Constitution of 1914. And because it did not work the way they wanted it to work, and when Lord Lugard was giving the, the go ahead, that was brought about uh, what came, uh, what brought about the issue of the Clifford Constitution of 1922. After the practice of the Clifford Constitution, and that also didn't work, we had the 1946. Uh, Richard, Richard Constitution. Constitution. That is, those are the, the constitutional development of Nigeria. So in 1946, after some practice, again, it didn't work. We had McPherson Constitution 1951 until we came to 1954 where we had the, uh, the, the Constitution. And that is what actually where a nation could be said to have been founded. Why? Because the futures of the 1954 constitution, 53-54 constitution, with the establishment of what we, are, we say we are practicing now, federalism. Though we had regions, we had the southern uh, Cameroon, and we had the federal territory of Lagos. And you remember in 1953, that was an agitation by our whole over that the one uh, pamphlets were circulated that Lagos belong to the west. To the west. west. So take federal capital territory to another place entirely. It's not a new development. It was not a 1976 agenda mm -hmm. of the military. Mm -hmm. It started right back in 1953. So go and get a new neutral place, and that has always been. You look at uh, Tanzania. Tanzania has Dodoma. Dodoma is the equivalent of our own Abuja. Uh -huh. And you have Dar es Salaam. Dar es Salaam, Dar es Salaam is the equivalent of our own Lagos. Uh -huh. Dodoma came into existence in 1974. Uh -huh. Our own Abuja was put in place in 1976. Six. That does not take the prerogative of being the hub, the business, financial, and whatever hub from mm -hmm. Dar es Salaam. Mm -hmm. Dar es Salaam has the same futures that Lagos has. That is being a what? It a shoreline uh, state. A shoreline, a city. Mm. It's like it borders the sea. The the, 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 yes. Mm. But you see, the noise is that we establish this just because some people felt, like how who, who was leading the world, felt, okay, this is a country we need there to build. And he was looking at it from that perspective. So, 1974, the 1954 constitution put in place what you can call this, this major characteristic of federalism. federalism. And that is mm -hmm. having to say that you have exclusive legislative list mm -hmm. and you have concurrent mm -hmm. legislative list. Anything, if you are talking of federalism and federalism is devoid mm -hmm. of those two things, that you are not speaking of federalism. Basically, I'm not talking of federalism. And federalism entails it is there's national, there's subnational. Mm -hmm. Subnationals are the what are the regions, are the regions. But leading to 1954, you will find out that uh, in the whole of West Africa, you had a problem. You we have Forabi College. Yes. We have Achimota mm -hmm. in Ghana. Ghana. And the they were looking at uh, 
at it from that point of view that we need to expand education. That is around 52. It was there and there. They look for a way to bring in, they set up the Elliot Commission, commission to, yes. to look at it. That okay, let us expand education. the frontier of education. Mm -hmm. And that was 1948. They brought about the establishment of University College. Ibadan. 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 Mm. So the expansion of that, and there was another one they established somewhere in, in another West African country. So those ones put together, let the expanded the frontier of education and the frontier of knowledge and the agitation okay. that led to the workability of the 1954 constitution. So the constitutional con uh, conferences started the inbuilt constitutional conferences started in the 50s and the 50s led to the establishment or the bringing to the fall of 1940 1954 constitution but what do we achieve or what did we achieve then we achieved in question 1952 election the 1952 election was not contested on the basis of party parties no and be that as it may, the only party in existence before 1952 was NCNC, National Congress, uh, Congress of Nigeria and, and Cameroon. Mm -hmm. So that was the only party in existence. AG, which was an offshoot of Ebi Omo Odua, came into existence in 1951. But not as a party. Not as a party. Yeah. No. It, 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 it was formed in 1948. It was what was formed in 1948. But AG Action Group was never in existence since 1951, when 1952 election was to be conducted, and MPC, not uh, Congress. Uh, yes, People's Congress came into existence in 1952. For the purpose of contesting the 1952 election. election, but 1952 election was also not contested on the party basis. No, uh, no. Basis. no. Mm -hmm. it was contested through electoral college. Yes. But you find out that, that there was some ad hoc party arrangement, particularly here in Nevada. Mm -hmm. You have in Nevada people's uh, party, IPP. Okay. So okay. these are developments that led us to the 1954, the 52 election. And funny enough, sorry to say this, funny enough, you know, when they got to the floor, of course, we had established the region, the northern region, the western, eastern. The, the eastern region, and the western. When the, what led us to where we are now, that is one point I want to raise. We got to the floor, the IPP had six people. Lagos was, at your game, Lagos election was contested on the, on the party basis, because that was the federal capital territory. And it was meant for NC, NC. NC. That was where Zeke, Adebola, Adedoyi, mm. Ikejiani. That was where they all contested mm, yes. and won mm. their election. So nobody was contesting election. Nobody, not even Yoruba, was contesting election in Lagos. Because Lagos has been established to be the it's domain the of Enandiazikwe. I won't say Igbo. But NCNC is also not, or was also not an Igbo party. Mm -hmm. It was an enclave, outside the enclave of Igbo, but it was what happened in 1952 on the floor of the house mm -hmm. in the western region. That was when you had two things together. Mm -hmm. You had the word cross capital. Mm -hmm. That was when it was introduced into the lexicon. Okay. Uh, uh, democratic okay. lexicon. They had another word which happened in the east. Sitite minister. That was when Zeke, the electoral college, we need to explain this. The electoral college, when they got there, they were the one to exp uh, elect those who will go to the federal mm -hmm. realm. Mm -hmm. But Zeke and one or Debola were designated to go from the from Lagos. But there was one Adedoyi mm -hmm. who was a son to Akaribo. Okay, he was the one that he was also a member of NCNC, but he, he was not far satisfied with the two people going. Mm -hmm. So he went and contested, and the people of 
that uh, AG supported him. him and he match that was why Zik was defeated. Zik was defeated only Adebola and Adedoyi succeeded in going to the Federal House of Representatives. Mm -hmm. What happened was Zik had to leave the West. The West and he went to the East. When he got to the East, he had Professor Elio uh, Ita mm -hmm. to contest with. Mm -hmm. When he contended with that one, that one said, no, nobody can dictate from us. That is when we had crisis and they dissolved the house. And Ayo, Ayo went and formed his own party, UNIP, United Nigeria Independent Party. Okay. And that was the, what I'm trying to arrive at is that that slage, what they call treachery by the East, was what has led us to where we are today. Why has it led us to where we are today is this. The Igbos are suspicious of the West. The West is suspicious of the, the Igbo. And they can never come together. And it's still biting okay. us at okay. this present okay. moment. Okay. That is where I want to hang that end okay. discussion okay. for now. Okay, Mr. Bogunoku. Let's look at what uh, Barrister Aguru has said. How did we get here? In your honesty, how did we get well, here? I like to buttress this point that uh, some of these parties emerge from tribal uh, parties yes. because NPC started uh, from NPC, NPC, Nisene, that some Hausa, yes. Arewa, yes. that is people of Arewa, mm -hmm. their own uh, tribal something. It emerged from that place, but it was N NCNC that was wearing the toga of a uh, national party and so on. Now, during that time, during the, the election of Western region, was, uh, uh, people was contested, I think maybe 1953 or 54. NCNC as a party, then AG, then the uh, smaller parties in the Nevada. People were expecting Zeke to nominate a Yoruba person. To, to lead but as a leader of the party he was ready to contest for the premiership Be, you know that time they were to vote in the house yes. to, to select all the councillors or um, honourable members in the house, that's a parliamentary system for you when you get there it is from that place that will, they will elect their, the premier and anytime the premier does anything they don't like they pass vote of vote of vote of as simple as that so Zik, instead of Zik to nominate a Yoruba person, he, he agreed put to he forward. put himself forward. And at a point, because NCNC, like I said, is uh, regarded as a national party. And Yoruba people being what we are, we would like to see ourselves as being fair, being a cosmopolitan, that you, you do the right thing. We have so many Yoruba people in NCNC. So they were, they had a number of uh, people, but NC, uh, AG and NCNC, both of them could not get the maximum uh, votes required. Mm -hmm. So, and they were relying on some people in uh, some smaller parties in, in Nevada. And these people just called themselves together. Shall we uh, allow somebody, uh, uh, another person from another tribe, to come and rule us in our region? They said no. And this is what caused the uh, Mabolaja Grand Alliance. Grand Alliance. <laughs> mm. They had to emerge, and the, the, their mm. bulk vote was given to AG, and AG won. And Zig said, I go to the East. So he went to, to the East to go and display somebody who is there to occupy that uh, place as the it's premier. Like he said, this is where, suppose, um, tribal uh, politics started. The tribe had bitterness. And bitterness. People were talking. Even up to now, if you ask some Easterners, they will say Yorubas are betrayers. They did this, they did even they did that <coughs> to them during the civil war. Mm. So, but let's come to what they they made of the power they got. Uh, the uh, AG party in the in the West, they performed wonderfully well. The the constitution, they had their own constitution. They knew what was good for their people, and they pursued it. Talk of uh, agriculture, uh, they had uh, this system where they had uh, uh, housing uh, 
uh, farm, farm settlement, farm settlement mm -hmm. in the, in the, all over the place. Mm -hmm. And there is this Ikere Gorge. Ikere Gorge. It was a massive uh, uh, um, land space. where they planted grass. If you go to that place now, you will see the, you will still get the, the the kind of grass. They were ready for animal husbandry. For every, there was another uh, animal something at Iwo. Mm. There is another one at where we are now, mm. uh, Kolapo Ishola. Mm. During that time, they were producing raw milk. Mm. Uh, fresh the, milk, the fresh milk mm. for people to consume. Mm. So those are the kind of things they made of the power given to them then. Of course there were problems, but then they still performed well. Because the constitution allowed them to plan so for to that. perform at that time. Like he was saying about uh, federalism. Federalism is supposed to be for your you do what is good for your people, you con you control your resources, then you donate to the center. There is, I don't see why a, a federal government would be interested in uh, 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 funding uh, secondary school education. You don't have the people. It is the local government at the state that have the people. So education is supposed to be a, a prerogative of the, the, uh, region. Of the region. Agriculture too. Federal government does not have any land. But if you, if you can uh, take a census of the number of departments of a Greek that federal government have now, you will be surprised. So these are the kind of things that is that happened then, that is uh, 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 spilling over to See, no. what we have now. Okay. The other, okay. Oh, 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 no, go. Let, let's come back to you. So uh, you've been able to establish the fact that there was this mutual suspicion, and Nigeria is here to recover from these tendencies, even in the 21st century. The way forward. Can this be bridged if there is any gap? Can this gap be bridged? Um, there's no way we'll be able to exhaust what the foundation of our problem or mutual mistrust is all about. You remember that before the amalgamation, we were talking about the North being essentially a feudal system mm -hmm. and the upper South. So the indirect rule of <coughs> The 1946 and 1951 constitution, I'm talking of Richard and uh, McPherson, how it played out in the north, the emirs were essentially empowered. empowered yes. mm. so powerful. Very, very powerful. Mm. To the extent that the British, the dis DOs, that is district it's officers, officers. they would just look the other way. All they needed from the emirs was for them to collect money. So the EMEA, you see in EMEA, the administrative, the legislative, and the executive, and the judicial the powers. In, the in one. Rolled into one. In one. <laughs> so, and, and that, that being so, the British prefer their ways. They look the other way. Unless, as long as they, it, it did not affect their own collection. It did not touch their whatever the, the whatever authority the EMEA exercises mm. does not touch their or did not touch their their own area or or the domain of the or their power. So, but in the West, this was not so. Why? Because some of us were educated. Even a laughing then. Who happened to wield the power of life and death was not that so. You will remember the Iwarefa mm. or the Ushubo. 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 They always come together. In fact, I was reading a book I, of uh, the late Bolaige, people, politics, uh, and uh, politicians between 1949 and uh, was it 1979. So, I never knew that this so-called Oboni that we talked about, we thought it was a secret court, was a way of checking the yeah, world, the governors, even the lady, mm -hmm. because they have to sit down. You don't discuss the king publicly, so you have to go to somewhere exclusive, one secluded place. That is what they call a lady in Yoruba land. But a lady is now what is now synonymous with secret, secret, secret court. Society. 
I don't know. So all these things they put in place to check the excesses of the others. And if you take for example the your your empire, you look at the your, your miss, you have them there. Anybody can do anything. You, the, the king can be what can be corrected and checkmated. You have the prime minister, of course, you are the overall boss as but but you have the, the bachelor bachelor. as the what as the egg. These are th these things are still very much there, but in the West, the Obas as are not were not as powerful as, as the yeah, yeah, yeah. So the indirect law has a way. But in the East, that is why I said the basis of our problem started long time ago. So and we need to just Hmm. Shed more light on this. But in the East, they, they call them so republican. Hmm. There's no single there's no the clan are so limited. So you cannot yes, you cannot exercise your power beyond your Not territory. Me. Even where they have it, like the Ayana boss, mm -hmm. like the Ibibios, mm -hmm. the, the, so the, the, the mm -hmm. so they, they just they are limited to their respective towns. The the authorities do not extend beyond their towns. Unlike here where you have the expansion of or your yeah, empire yeah, yeah. from Eba to Saki uh, to everywhere. But in their own area there. So in the red loop does not work there. There's no way. They, that's why you have so um, so many the, except for yes, except for Onicha. And you know the Obi of Onicha is said to be a son of a worker in the in mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. so they, they and you know beneath they left Ife, but so they have the the route the Yoruba route there. That is why, except for Onicha, all other places they don't have anything like that. But what I want to bring out is that that's why you have the Igwes. Igwes, there's there's all of them are only Igwe one. If it's a Anuluwa Anuluwa one, Chief Anuluwa one, it's, it does not have two. Because it's limited and it's just evolving based on that. So traditionally and culturally, we are different in our ways. And you are bringing us together to come and form a nation without taking into consideration this perspective that of our background. Mm -hmm. So this has led us to where we are. So when you are talking of development now, how will development get to the people? Is that not your question? Mm -hmm. Now, before we get into this development yeah, issue, yeah. we've identified the problem. How do we move away from this problem and get to where we are supposed to be heading for? So we have to take a discussion into history again. It's okay. When America was formed, 1776, so they said, but they never had the election until 1789. So, the purchases or some territories which they are now called states mm. into the what into the into the union the union it led to so many things and you know they fortified the the confederacy and the federalists but that is not the where we are going what are those peculiarities do we want to concede all this thing to ourselves are we ready to you can't have it absolutely the way the northern Nigeria wants to have it. You remember, I went to issue of uh, Tanzania. It is not only in Tanzania. Look at South Africa, maybe because of apartheid. Pretoria and Johannesburg. Not only that, you have Pretoria, mm -hmm. the seat of government, yes. executive. Yes. You have Cape Town, mm -hmm. the seat of legislators mm -hmm. or legislature. Mm -hmm. You have Johannesburg, mm. the all financial all yes. of South the country, Africa, yes. and you have Bloventine mm -hmm. as the, the, the seat of judiciary, all within a, a country. country. Mm. Not only that, some of us have heard about Mumbai, mm -hmm. we have heard about Calcutta and New Delhi. Mumbai, the commercial center, New Delhi, as what? As in the capital city. Even close here now. You have heard about Yamskuru. Yamskuru, yes. In Kodi mm -hmm. And you have about Abidjan. Abidjan, yes. Abidjan is the commercial center. Everybody knows. It. Even where they are playing now is in Abidjan. Yamskuru is the one. It's the capital city. Dedicated to the their former head of Open Boini. Mm. Is that not so? Yes. So beyond that, you also move around so many African states and so many cities or countries in the world. 
But any little thing, you don't want to concede. Mm. These are uh, these are problems. We need to renegotiate mm. the terms of the, the terms. Terms. existence of a country. So have we been pretending all along? You see, yes. You see, mm. we had problem in 1966. We we all are part of the problem. Mm. 1966, after January 15, cool. So many things went wrong. And I remember particularly what the leader of the coup PST said. He said, the problem in Nigeria are the 10 percenters. Mm -hmm. It has always been with us. Who are the 10 percenters? When you give contract, mm -hmm. you look for 10 percent on top of it. But today, it's not the, whole term, it's the mm -hmm. whole contract. Mm -hmm. It's the whole contract. Mm -hmm. And that has made a box of uh, or a made us a joke, a a a board, a board of, the of, joke joke of the whole world. Of the whole world, particularly the uh, Kenya man. Hmm. Kenya Patrick man. Not no 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 Patrick, no the former uh, president. The, pre okay. the former president. Hmm. The former president. Uru Kenyatta. Uru Kenyatta came out openly to say that a Nigerian minister visited was in Indonesia. And he got to Indonesia. He was a minister for works there. I wouldn't know that minister. He said he got there. He went and met his counterpart in Indonesia. And that one said, and he, when he had concluded his official visit, that one took him to his private house. And he said, ah, but you say you people are anti, you fight corruption anyhow. How did you get this money, the money to build this house? And he said, he took him. He took Nigeria, his Nigerian counterpart to his balcony. And he, he said, you should look at how. He saw very beautiful roads well lit and he said 10 percent of that money is it's here easier. nigerian minister got that look and he left he came to nigeria and he invited by way of reciprocity his own colleague from indonesia to nigeria he said he got to nigeria but he told he did tell his if he says he's a host, host that day that but in nigeria we don't have anything no it's not like this ah so when he invited him he also visited, he did all he needed to do, and he took him to his own personal house by way of reciprocity again. When he got there, he lavished everything on him. And But my friend, you told me when I showed him my home that there was nothing in Nigeria. He said, yes, come outside here. He took him to his own balcony too, of his very expansive building. He said, look at that. That man said I could not see that. He said, 100% of that is here. Yeah. So, you understand, under the uh, lack of road, lack of line, power, he said, 100%, I've stolen all the money, I've used it to build my own thing. So, on the basis of that, everybody sees it, sees this Nigerian resource <coughs> or resources as a personal one, particularly regional one. Okay. And uh, when you don't sit to negotiate, to now say, okay, uh, do we actually have a nation? You know, I started by saying when there was, was, was a country, country, there was once a country, mm. and I believe there was never a, a country. country. Mm. So, on the basis of never a country, there was never a country. Mm. But you have neighbors that you live with, okay. necessarily, mm. not because your neighbors owns your house or you own his house, but when collective interest is devoid of negotiation mm. this is where we are leading that, that, that will lead us that, that, that particular so okay. supposition but will that lead us to we we are getting somewhere because we will should open the phone line mm. soon may i ask mr Bogluk, when Aruna was doing all these things mm. was it because of his own brand of leadership or because he had a good team well Aruna had a good team and uh, uh, the kind of team a leader uh, 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 gets hmm. depend on the character of the leader. Hmm. If somebody is somebody who is a person who wants to uh, people to mass mass uh, massage his ego, he will uh, assemble those who will begin uh, begin to sing his praises. But I will uh, like uh, barista said, over here we are educated, and here too we are independent some of the problems we are having in this country is that the system of bringing people up in different zones of the country is they are different mm. over here you sponsor yourself or your parents will sponsor your education you you 
find your way, you struggle to get to where you are, it is then that people will notice you and probably invite you to their government to be ministers and so on and so on. But somewhere else in Nigeria, it is the system that train people. Mm -hmm. It is the the, the the leaders. I don't want to mention the kind of uh, leader so that uh, <laughs> you will easily get the the leaders we scout for people. If if, uh, if they want to uh, recruit into the army, it is these leaders that will send people to the schools to, mm. to bring their best brains. Mm. You wouldn't know, they will just pick you and they will say, you are going to this place. If it's an uh, executive post in some ministry, this is the way they recruit. Mm. So these people are loyal to their system. But mm. over here, you are you are uh, selected or elected based on your personality. So it, it, it speaks so to the fact that we are different. Very, very. And Barrister said that we must moving forward. We must renegotiate the, the terms, terms of the union. Of our Definitely, we must renegotiate. How do we do when that? When Barrister was talking the other time, he talked about uh, amalgamation in business terms. Any 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 business that wants to amalgamate. They will have the, the the businesses that want to join together. They will have to be doing the same kind of business. Hmm. Maybe banking, insurance, or uh, any or something related. Something. related. Mm -hmm. You don't amalgamate a a a a, 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 a mechanical a, retailer, a, um, a, a bank with a construction company or insurance company, and that's exactly what we. Do. Uh, mm -hmm. they've done to us here. And that's what Nigeria we are so today. different. Our systems are so different. Even when you prefer solution that seems to to, to to solve the problem, people will be asking you, because I belong to some organizations when we bring out certain blueprints that we think will be useful, which has been useful in other climes. When you bring it out here, people will ask, would they accept? Would they, would then you want to ask, who are these days? Hmm. Are, we, are we are we conquered? Are we a conquered people? Hmm. Are we slaves to some people? So until you know, right from the onset, the North does not want to, to uh, them to be divided. They want North as a monolithic North, and that was the lopsided uh, system that caused the downfall of the last uh, the last republic, uh, the first republic. Hmm. In federalism, uh, a, a section should not be so powerful and. To be more powerful than the others when the the, the first legislative something i think it was 136 or so mm -hmm. the, the one one uh, the 136 mm -hmm. people did not uh, held 65 or 60 something 68 so right from onset anything you do that does not align with the north they are not going to accept okay. they want a way of putting it okay now we want to invite you to join the discourse and the numbers you can call are 0916 right, uh, let's start with this. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you very much for this program. You're welcome. Uh, well, I've been wanting to get the numbers of uh, Mr. Makwandiro and Anulua. Because we are this situation of Nigeria is now uh, no more talk talk anymore. Action must be taken now. Huh? Mm. We have been talking this for many years now. Especially in Yoruba tribe, your ancestor does not give me any rest. And I find my rest in the time of Papa Olo. I visited or some death. Huh? Yes, something that seems to prove for me to it. But when I go that these people, most of them, they don't, they don't follow the truth. I, 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 now, I must, because I, this man, uh, 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 like a new fish, you may think my reward as a mad person, I'm not mad though. We are going to meet on one on one in this location. Okay. Huh? 
Okay, sir. Mr. Victor, uh, th th thank you so much for your time. The two guests on the program this morning have arrived at a point that we must renegotiate the terms of our coexistence. It's like a marriage of, you know, inconvenience. The North and the South, they are different in the way they do their things. What's your take on these? The numbers to call are 0916-104-7698-0811-0526487. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Amen. This is the You're welcome, sir. You know we say? In a job, summer, in the new world, which all the public say, at the beginning of this insight, there is elements of this which are the formation of Nigeria or coming together of Nigeria. I can't be that elite. What is the state of the country? Come on, what is wrong? Therefore, as people have rightly said, there needs to be reform to restructure this country. God bless you, sir. All right, thank you so much, Olushagota. How are you for your time? Uh, Honorable Guru, let's come back to you. Well, the calls are coming in. Um, would have loved us to talk about how to renegotiate these terms. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Hello, morning. Thank you so much. And our mother in the house and our barista. I am my mediator. And I know morning. Before I say it, it's time to go Maybe you will leave our talk for next week. Let us see the one you are talking about today. Okay. You have opened the line for us. All right, go ahead. I want to put it to both of our in-house analysts that all this history they have painted there to be was the history that pushed Philip Enauru to go to the parliament and declare a push for independence. The same thing you are agitating now was what he was thinking by then. Now let us change our very part of Oibo mm -hmm. people. Ruin us. Let us now have our own government. Do you remember, or from this people should know, that the North walked out of that meeting? They are banned on that meeting. Now, they took Lady Akitara and some elders to go to the North. It was God that brought them back alive. Now, if you look at it very well, the independence was a fake agreement. A fake united agreement. The North, the South, they were not at it. We are not together at all. But we will move or deceitfully wait for Ibo people to bring independence with a deceitful marriage. That deceitful marriage is what is now killing off me today. The independence was fake. The marriage, the forceful marriage was fake. Because we are not united. So now the analysts in the house to give us a solution today. If we don't revisit that dependent state, you need to be independent. Mm -hmm. And we don't revisit the issue of amalgamation and abuse plan. It is rumored. That rumor must be confirmed, confirmed here today. That there is a document that says, if we live together for 100 years, and we cannot do it anymore, we should go and live with it. Is it a fact? Mm -hmm. All right. Good Thank you so much, uh, Prime Minister. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Thank you. Yeah, this is a from the world. Oh, laugh from the world. Welcome. Yeah, that's all. I agree to that. You have to try. If we are talking of renegotiating, in the first instance, uh, during the days of our law, our law was good. Our law was a good man. It's not because we have a job. Because we have, if the governor wants to do well without corruption, the governor can perform perfectly well without anybody hindering him. But because the leaders of the day, they don't care for anybody. The bank of rice is being sold for over 50,000, and nobody cares. No governor cares. No president cares. Nobody cares. We are, the people are just suffering. 
Now, if we let the renegotiate our, our existence, the way they should, are we going to renegotiate, I mean, renegotiate our current car? The way they renegotiate our current car, if we renegotiate our existence. Okay. What we need is just, and I don't even know, better just pray that we have, if we have a good president today, a president that has the heart of the people that, that in his heart, things at least, things should be okay. Things should be okay. Okay. Hey man, thank you so much Mr. Allah for your time on the program. You can still be part of the program. Call in and be part of the program. Let's get to know what your take is. Our guest this morning has said that moving forward, Nigerians must renegotiate their terms of engagement. Alright, let's pick calls. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Thank you. Bio. Can you please bring it up? Hello. Welcome. Yes. You say what? Hello. Speak, 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 speak louder, Mr. Bio. Okay, it's okay. Bio. Uh, All right, Bio, welcome. Just want to fix my good thing in the house. The school work. But what I'm making is that they keep on calling I want to walk, I want to walk as an example. My thing is this. To renegotiate with school. I don't get it. To renegotiate with school. With those people in the other land now, they have already got the power that they know that no body. That's what I want to pay before the population of the solution. To be negotiated with school. Don't compare this error with that error. That's what I always say. When it's happening, they will wear all over their cap, wear a glass, do shooting that. Don't compare this error with that error. To be negotiated with school. I'm here to negotiate with school. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Bio, for your time on the program. So let, let's come back to you. The question is to renegotiate, to renegotiate with who? who? How do we achieve this renegotiation? <coughs> Barista, let's start with you. How did you get into Nigeria? You got into Nigeria because some people were identified as being Yorubas, and some people were identified as being Aousas and Fulanis, and some as Igbos, and some as minority. You know, there is government in place. It's not like when we are to go and begin to pick people to to make them undergo process of civilization. And I used to say something to every civilization. There is always a what a price to pay. to pay. So if we have to renegotiate, we already know we are in a country that I will call geographical expression. expression. So. Who are those in that geographical expression? And there are already some cultural, social cultural, social political organizations who speak for each entity. entity. These are the people that, first and foremost, when crisis broke out, like it did in the, the Democratic, I mean, Central Republic of Africa, CA, Congo, no, CA, Central Rep uh, African Republic. Mm -hmm. Where the Fulanis wanted to take over, to take over government, the government, and they fought the Fulani to a hilt. It also happened in Rwanda between the Hutus and the Tutsis. And the Tutsis. It also happened in the. It's also happening in the Dr. Congo now, mm. Democratic Republic the of Congo. Congo. Mm. So, I mean, it's happening in Uganda too. Mm. But these are. Ethnic ident uh, nationalities, <coughs> they they will have head, but not mm. necessarily the heads that you think now mm. that are speaking. Mm. But those who people will believe, people have been listening. Those when they call, when the when the push come to the shop, they know who to call, who will control the crowd. Mm. It's not somebody sitting comfortably in the comfort of his office with AC in. That they will call it because That's the, call the, the crisis, in. the crisis will have enveloped those mm -hmm. ones, and they will have run away. It is those who have the crowd now, and we don't pray we get to that level. But before we get to that level, what we say in essence is this: we have the opportunity to say what are the problems. We are already yeah. listing out the problems. Hello, good morning. Hello. Oh, Bayo, you are back. One minute, Marisa. Ordinary CBN, they want to move it to Abuja, to Lagos. You know what happened? Ordinary ship house, they want to move it to Abuja. You know what happened? Nobody sitting in South Sudan 
I mean, just feel free. I know what I'm saying. Why is this negotiate? Don't compare the country with Nigeria, sir. Please, sir. Okay. Talking about we, South, Fire. They want to say you negotiate with those people. All those people in the office. That the children were trying to see ourselves. Look at the house car over there. Don't even leave ourselves. Please. Thank you. All right. Okay, so uh, Mr. Bugoloko, because of uh, okay. sorry, before Mr. Bugoloko, we need to speak to this and we need to clear some people's mind. Those who are speaking with the regu uh, relocation. relocation of some departments mm -hmm. in the Central Bank of Nigeria, they, they do not know interest. what they are. They, they say, <laughs> these are the people, you remember on your program, we used to say, when they engage close to about 500 individuals, they were sons and daughters of the those who be. are in Abuja and all over. Mm. So these are the children who prefer to work where their parents are purchased houses. Mm. They already have their houses they there. They are not staying with their parents' home. Mm. They are purchased posh houses for them and they are already staying there. In Dume, they said there will be consequences because if it is in Dume you are talking of, he has his daughter and he has his son in law working in CBA, and both of them have to be moved to Lagos. Yeah, but what they of them have been moved now? Well, some of them work in that particular department. They call it Consumer Protection mm. Department. The most it's okay. They are now working there. There's what they say they call supervision. Uh, supervision. They say super, uh, supervising all the banks, all the headquarters of Nigeria Max about the three of them are in Lagos. Mm. Even the, the one of Northern Origin, mm -hmm. which is Unity Band, yes. he's also from he's also mm -hmm. under, mm -hmm. uh, if he doesn't have his headquarters in Lagos, he it will die. Him. No, it will die. <laughs> not that he can't pray with uh, uh, family, it's not about breaking him, it's about dying. <laughs> because they needed to recapitalize for twenty five billion. Mm. It was the southerners that, that gave them the money. money. Hmm. So let them take that bank to what? Hmm. To the north today. You will see what will happen. What we are saying in essence is that they are not fighting for the north. And at the end of the day, I will give you something. They will retrace their steps. Because if this country collapses, they will be the first one. Those talking will be the first one to be affected. Okay. They will remove every Alcano. That is Sanusi Lamido he has is staying comfortably in Lagos. Mm. He knows what it takes. He cannot stay in, in any Kano. of the northern mm. states, not even in Kaduna. Mm. The headquarters of Kaduna Mafia. <laughs> so, what he developed is that <laughs> Larry, we are running out of time. Maybe Mr. <laughs> Bogunoko, just one minute. Okay, uh, renegotiation. We are mm. talking now of renegotiation. You see, one thing we must be cleared of is this what actually do we want mm -hmm. in the south? In, in the southwest. I remember in 1999 uh, when the military was trying to, to hand, over. hand over. There were moves in the south, especially southwest, that we must know the constitution that we, they are going to operate. Mm. Our leader said, no, just get, just us, uh, when we get there, when, get, when we get to the river, we'll cross it. Mm. That has always been our problem. What exactly do you want? You want to go and participate in a football match or whatever. And you don't, know the, you don't know the rules. And you say when you get there, you are going to adjust. Now, we are talking of negotiation. But what exactly do we want here? Okay. If okay. we are agreed on what we want, and some people say they, they don't want that, then we can as well okay. progress now. Okay, Mr. Abobuloko. This is why we must draw the curtain on the program this morning. I'm sure it has been a very educative one, very interesting one. And we'll, some, we will still come back to this issue because there are foundational issues yes. that we must resolve before we can move forward. Once the foundation is weak, we can't put anything mm -hmm. on it. That's where we are now. So we'll come back to this issue and hopefully we believe the two of you will still be around mm -hmm. or some other persons will join in the discourse. Anu? Thank you so much, uh, Femi Makadon. It's been a long day. Thank you, Honorable uh, Barrister Larry Aguro and uh, Mr. Abogulogo. Thank you so much for your time on the program. This is where we're going to call it a wrap. Don't forget that on this program, Insight, it's a journey. Take a ride with us. We'll be back next week talking about the foundational challenges of this country. Hey, Manu, Akwamori, the same. Bye for now.
And before we go, let us appreciate all our backroom staff who have been good to us on this production. Uh, uh, God willing, everybody, uh, uh, Suleiman, Suleiman, who have been there for us, and the Sea of Impact Group who has given us this platform to stand on and fly. We do not take it for granted, sir. We are so grateful. My name is Adifemi Makpadero. We'll see you next week on Inside. Have Bye. a pleasant day. For now. Which way to go? Which way to go? I love my father. Oh, yeah. I want to know. I want to know. Which way that came to Many years after independence, we still find it hard to start. How long shall we be patient before we reach the promised land? Let's save Nigeria so Nigeria won't die. I want to know